Hi. Um, I'm back, and we are going to do a palindrome, a palindrome, which is, um, for instance, P-M-A-D-A, -A -A, madam. That's a palindrome because it is front and backwards is the same thing. Okay, we're going to do one that has a recursion for palindrome. <laughs> okay, so the first thing is we want to, using namespace std, we want to call our functions. So the first function is bool is palindrome string The second is bool is string palindrome string And we're just going to do the same thing, copy and paste this, but change this to rec, so, which means um, recursion, recursion function. So let's start with our actual function, shall we? <clears throat> let's start with this one. Return rec is palindrome string zero string dot length minus one. So we're returning um, this function in this if it's string, which is that. Um, in the form of an integer, which is, um, for instance, M-A-D-M, -M, madam. That's zero is the first place. So that's what we're saying is that zero for the first and the last. Well, how do you get the last? Well, you, we're going to, um, we haven't defined it yet, but the length In order to get the length of something in C++, you use dot length. So the string of madam and the length of it minus one will get you the last, um, will get you the last of the, the letter. So again, zero, one, two, three, four. So it'll get four, okay? And the string has yet to be defined, so that's why we call it string. Okay, so the next function we're gonna do is the actual recursion function. So first we're going to check to see if the string only has one letter. If it does, then it will return true. If it doesn't, then we're going to move on to the next part of the function. So if the string dot length is equal to one, return true. Now you're probably wondering, well, what the, what does that mean? <laughs> Well, it means that if the user types in M or T, like a character, one character, then that means it, for instance, if, they, if the user typed in M, right, it reads front and back like a palindrome because it's just one letter. So that means the palindrome will equal true.
So this one, this if statement, will check to see if the first and last character are the same or not. So string first not equal to string last. So what's happening here is that, let me move this up a bit. What's happening here is that if, if the string of the first one is not equal to the string of the last one, okay, and how do we know which one's the string of the first and which one's the last? Well, we just defined it here. Our helping, it's called a helping function. We defined it in our helping fun function. The first is zero. And the last is this one, string dot length minus one. So if the first is not equal to the last, return false. Because a palindrome, remember, it reads front and back. Well, obviously the ending will be the same as the beginning. Therefore, if the ending is not the same as the beginning, then it's not a palindrome. And this is what we're saying right here. Next, we're going to do. Um, Call the parent function recursively to continue tracking first and second and last string characters. So we're going to do, I think I forgot something. Okay, I forgot to put if the first is greater than or equal to last, return true. So what that is saying is that um, if the first, which is again, let me write this out. If the first is greater than the last or equal to the last, return true. So what is that saying? It's saying, for instance, Matt, okay, so the first is zero. Well, in the zero position is M, right? Well, the last is M, right? So if first is greater than or equal to, it will always be equal to the last, but it probably won't ever be greater than. M is what? It's equal to M, right? It will, for palindrome, it will always be equal. Therefore, return true. That's what it's saying. If the first letter is equal to the last letter, return true, because that's what a palindrome is doing. So that's how we get this. And then if the first is not, re is not equal to the last, then return false. So that's that's what. Okay, so now we're gonna um, call the parent fun function recursively. So return what is palindrome string first plus one plus minus one. Okay, so. What we're saying here is that we're calling the function recursively to track whether the first and second, sorry, the first and last strings or characters. So string, which is what the user input, first plus one, last minus one. We're returning the function, the recursively with the addition of plus one and negative one. So in other words, we're returning the this function exactly how it is right here in our um, prototype. See that? First, last. But we're adding a one to it. And that's how you do recursion. All right. Let's do main function because everyone knows we need a main function, C++. 
program, each C++ program. So string string out to the user, enter a string, get line, send string, count end all, make a new line. If the palindrome string out is a is a palindrome via recursion and all. And then we're just going to copy this, paste it, and we're going to put is not a palindrome. Via recursion. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. Our, our errors are um, 97. Strange. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was already there from the website. Okay, let's try again. Are we going to enter a string? Uh, madam. Madam is a palindrome via recursion. Madam is not a palindrome the recursion. Okay, so I have to do else right here. That's my issue. All right. Madam. Madam is a palindrome. Okay, let's try again. Um, we're gonna do no. No is not. Um, yeah. And that's pretty much it for that. So let's go over this one last time before I leave you guys. And this will also be on my GitHub. I will put notes as well on it to make it a little bit more easier for you guys. So the first thing is we're going to call, and this wasn't actually necessary, so we're going to call the helping one. This is a helping function because it allows us to return something without getting messy right here. See how we're returning something already? Technically, you can return this and this, but uh, it's it's best to make it separate. So we're calling a string, an integer, and an integer. We're calling a string because we want the user to input a string. We're calling the first and last because that's how we figure out whether something is a palindrome by the first E the easiest way to find out if some a letter or a string is a palindrome. The helping function will return um, what the well what the string is. The actual function, the recursion function, if I have to be more specific, um, is telling us whether or not it's a recursion or what sorry whether or not it's a um, palindrome via recursion and re again recursion for those who are don't know or who have forgotten is calling a function calling itself that's it that's what recursion is and so in this in this um, example rec is string palindrome is calling itself so 
I will also put on the GitHub um, a full copy of a different way to um, print this. And I will put notes for you guys. All right, if you like the video, um, like, subscribe, comment down below. All right, thank you for watching.